dream of trying to play me Gazing on days and contagious show my baby We know each other like the back of our hands Understand there's no mistake and I'm taking this show my dream What's good YouTube? It's your girl Asia And it's your boy BJ Back in the building Back in effect Back, back like, like we, we never left, left. And we are back up in the saddle and ready to ride. Yeah. About to get into some Calhoun today. Adam Calhoun, yeah. okay? Now, it's been all in the comment section. I was about to say that. I mean, this should be a good one, not just because of the song, but based on the song, I mean, we should we should have some good commentary. You know? I feel like we about to get a lot of hate on this shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> just by the name alone, that's a that's that's a whole situation, yeah. okay? That's a whole scenario. It's a bold song. I think you know naming something racism, and not to mention I don't really I don't I I say I don't really I don't know anything anything about Mr. Adam Calhoun. Mm -hmm. So whatever I say, please do not try to come for me after I say it because I don't know nothing about this man. I'm just I'm just finna just listen to his music yeah. and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about the music. But we gotta keep it one hundred when y'all come to this channel. Yeah. When y'all come to this platform, y'all gonna get the real. Y'all gonna get the best reaction, and it it just is what it is. Yeah. But when you name a song racism, sometimes that's a tall uh, glass of water to drink. You know, that's a tall order to order. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, is he is it gonna live up to what the what the name of the song is? I'm just gonna say because somebody gonna be offended by whatever this video is about to say. Okay. Whatever I'm gonna say, whatever you gonna say, whatever he gonna say, somebody gonna be offended. Okay, I'm just But that's the world we live in. Right. Somebody gonna love it, somebody gonna hate it, somebody gonna take offense to it. But just, at the end of the day, we do it in love. Yeah. And if you are new here, welcome. Please be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Yes, ma'am. You don't want to miss anything, okay? Let's get into this video, yo. Hillbilly. Fragile. Nigga. White huh? Jewish. Fuck you. Did you say that? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? He starting off on, he starting off already. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> nah, nah, but you didn't know he was a white guy? No, I did not. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was black. I was like, why is he? I thought, oh shit. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I, did, I know that. <laughs> what the fuck you rapping for? Crack a ass cracker, got your rebel flag with your camel hat backwards. Stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth. Piece of shit truck broke down, middle of the street. Wow. Old lady Whoa. Whoa, sir. He coming in kind of hard on this one. I mean, you know you're talking about a lot. You yeah. done said a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not the broke not down truck in the middle of the street and yeah. you, you just... The uh, jacked just up teeth. Say, man. You know, I mean... Say, he, man, that, you can't be talking about folk like that. Yeah, but he just going off of that, the whole stereotype of a lot of people think of rednecks as people who got a broke down car with chewing on tobacco all day, so that type of vibe. Okay. Yeah. He's kind of starting off with... Them kind of going in on each other about each other's stereotypes. Kind of. Okay. I'm thinking that. Roger that. Fucked up teeth, piece of shit truck, broke down, middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat, smoking like a chimney. Kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid on her lap, smack his ass if he speaks. Always wearing white feeders cause her ass can't be. Okay, that's white mm. trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker, never even near a city. Out in the woods, hunting deeper than the wolves. Get that big old buck, bring them home, eat until they fall. Or they out in the street. Wait, wait, hmm. wait. First he said something about some rednecks, now he on the hillbilly. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I, I respect mm. it. You know, I respect it. I, I, you know, he, he telling the truth. Mm. But, but, I'm just saying, you know. I don't know what made him write this song, though. <laughs> that's 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 what I want to know. I think I think my first impression of, of just these first what forty six seconds of the video, it, it's almost like he's playing off of these different groups' stereotypes. Okay. This is what y'all think. This is a stereotype about hillbillies. Mm. This is a stereotype about rednecks. Okay. And, and the women, red, you know, and, and women. You know what I mean? He's talking about the look, the, the mama in the front seat smoking like like a chain, like a, a chain smoking. And the, the kids, kids can't in the back breathe. seat. In the back can't breathe. <laughs> Yo, my mama used to do that. Okay. <laughs> she 
I was wearing a white beater because she always getting beat. You know she ain't no hillbilly, but she did that shit, okay? <laughs> This is gonna be a really, really raw song. It's gonna be raw, y'all. Y'all get ready. Yeah. Oh, me until they fall, or they out in the shed, on the side drinking shine. Old lady bitch, you better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine, you've been drinking all night. Gotta get to work on time, up before the sun rise. Wow. Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash. Sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back, hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack, just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac. Baby mama bitch, you ain't taking care of business. All you do is smoke weed, run around with other bitches, and you can't keep a job, cause you in and out of prison. Guess it must be Trump's fault, cause you making bad decisions. Wow. He gonna strike a call with that right there. <laughs> When you when you talking about <laughs> the certain demographic of of the NIG, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean that like that's what I'm saying. Like the whole song is built around a stereotype. You call somebody a redneck, you call somebody a hillbilly, you call somebody a nigga. He's giving the characteristics of what you know mainstream or what people are going to think about these groups of people mm -hmm. or what's mostly said about these types of people. How these particular people look to other groups of people, like. You, I don't I don't know. You got all these I, I baby mamas and you sitting around smoking weed with your pants hanging off your ass. I'm a, I don't know. I I I I feel <laughs> I feel like I I gotta be I gotta agree to disagree but also be indifferent. Because yeah. I, 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 I I agree with what he's saying. I do. I agree with what he's saying on on all perspectives. I just you know Shit. It's tough to refute it because when somebody's kind of speaking truth to something, you got to embrace the truth. That's my thing. A lot of what he's saying is stereotypes, but at the same time, but with these groups of people, it's like true. That. Right. Yeah. Every person is not like what he's saying that right. they are. Like, you can be a redneck and, and not do that. You can and be not, a redneck and not, and not have messed city. up teeth. Yeah, you can be all of that. Same and, with and, black and, and be a redneck and, and wear a suit, <laughs> a suit and a tie. Right. Yeah. You can be all of those things. But the only thing I'm saying is, like, I, I guess, like, the way he's saying it, I get, I can see how this could be a very contra, like he is very controversial. Controversy to the fullest. Yeah, you know what I mean. He knew, and he, he knew is when he did the song. bold yeah. to be putting this song out. Like I'm not gonna say I dislike it. I just I I don't like it because it's very it's, whew, it, it's a hard pill to swallow. Like for any race, I think. And I, I, it's it's a perspective of like what it what it is, but at the same time, it's just like, shit. I'm just gonna sit back and be quiet, man, because I don't know what the fuck to say. I, if I say something, how I, you know what I mean, like. Yeah, but at the same time, the way the way the way that I'm thinking, right there are stereotypes, but some stereotypes kind of ring true for certain groups of people. Yeah, like like there are the hillbillies that drink all day that that are racist, that hate black people, that sit around and drink tobacco, eat tobacco all day and ride around in their floor with their shotgun in the back. Yeah. It's a cer certain group of black people that act like niggas. I don't know how you just don't feel some type of way about it though. Whether, like, and I'm not even just talking about him talking about the black people or the white people. I'm just like, I, I could just see how people just would be rubbed the wrong way, yeah. just in general. Even, just if, even if I was a redneck, if, if you was a redneck and you heard what he's saying, yeah, you're going to feel what I'm offended saying. by I it. feel like, I, hell, I'm like, shit, you're going to be offended, but I'm just like, shit, it doesn't matter what I say. Yeah. If, whether I say that what he's saying is the truth or what I say <laughs> is not the truth, like, somebody going to be like, how you going to say that that ain't the case? Because really, it's like, it goes both ways. Like, yeah. I, I, you could be a, hell, they're, I don't know, man. Like, I'll sit here, like, even what he's saying about niggas, like, I'll sit around and say the same thing, too. About, about certain groups of yeah. black people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. We, but Sitting we, around smoking weed all day. You with your baby mama, late on child support. You ain't taking care of your kids, but you still hanging hanging with your partners over at their crib, smoked out with your pants hanging off your ass. Facts. Facts. You know what Cause I mean? Because I know some. Roger that. And they still doing the same thing today. Every day. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
the job. <laughs> Shit, I don't, I don't fuck know what to say. Tough. Like, yeah, I, it's like I feel like whatever I say is just gonna be wrong. Yeah. I just can't. Fuck it though, you a nigga, hand on this to cracker. They pin us against each other, sit back and they watch it happen. In the hood, they selling track and killing over shoes and jackets. In the trailer park, they fall apart a bunch of mad daddies. Mm. Wow. He gave a, a full perspective of it. He talking about, you know, the yin and the yang of both of them. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's a difference. Like, there's the niggas and then there's like black the black folks. folks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Black. Like he like he said, that's working every day, that's on their grind, that ain't complaining about about white privilege, that's out there making it happen. And then you have the niggas, cause we know we we come from the hood, so we gotta keep it 100, y'all. He said they pit us against each other. I mean, which is true. I do yeah. believe that. I yeah. do believe that. I believe every race is pit against each other. You Absolutely. Know I mean? Because because we're we're being subjected to classes, and everything is is about class and Classism. being divided Absolutely. and just and really everybody should be as one we're supposed to be united so yeah i don't know what happened to that that part Bunch of mad daddies. Call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. black people in the video so hey they, they <laughs> must fuck with him you know what i mean but i i ain't gonna even lie though like i like i said when he started at the song i didn't know anything about him yeah. i literally like when you pulled it up i didn't even look i didn't even look at it if i were to just listen to this without knowing yeah. what race he was yeah. i would assume that he was black just by the way that he, that he rapping on here the way he <laughs> sounds like now granted like his talent though yeah. like his artistry the way he put this song together dude is on on point Okay, to call it yes. for what it is. He's yeah. on point. I don't know if we should pick this one first for him, uh -huh. for him but um, I mean, to call it for what it is, like, the song is, is straight. Y'all, we finna keep it 100 because like, like we told y'all before, when y'all come to this platform, it's gonna be real. I get the artistry of it. Like, he's not saying it because you fucking you know, he's saying, like, people say that. Like, those racist people, that that's what they saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's saying at the beginning of the video. He's not saying it as a representation of him. He's saying it as a representation of, like, racism. Other people. Like, yeah. people just making reference, general references right. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And that, that last verse when he was kind of talking about but then he kind of made the differentiation. Like, like, that's how you know that he understands mm -hmm. the, the, the dichotomy of different types of people. Like, you have... A redneck, and then you have a hillbilly that's a little different from each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you have, the, and then you have the black folks. You know what I'm saying? That's different from each other. And I like how he kind of made that differentiation between the two. Yeah. Like well, that's the same. I I'm mean, fucking with it. I, I, you know, I, you know, hey. Cause it's just real. <laughs> Cause, it, Cause it's real and, and, and it's stuff that people don't really want to say, especially like when it comes to music, like people don't want to put this out, this type nah. of music out and say this type of stuff because it's, it's so, like you said, it's so controversial. These types of songs, you're going to either have people for or against it. It's, it's never really right in the middle. So that's why I always got to give big ups to any artist that's just willing to put that on their platform and really, the, you know, and stand on it. Cause when yeah. you put it out like that, man, you gotta stand on that shit. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like for the first time I'm kind of speechless, y'all. I, I don't really have a whole lot of words to put to this. I yeah. mean, because I think the song spoke for itself. It I, did. And I think like his point in principle was just to kind of point out how people judge each other, look at each other, exactly. and how people see each other for, for what they are supposed to be, you know, yes, respectively. Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is, you At know? The end of the day, That's yeah. it, so. I'm fucking with it. If y'all enjoyed this, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below, and don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. <laughs> we got more coming. Yeah. We got more banging fire reactions coming y'all way, so y'all just stay tuned in. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you, and we'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your intentions.